Hey YouTube, this is Manny V, and you guys are watching Inspire Your Minds. Today we're going to be talking about rejection. Millions of you guys are facing this on a day-to-day -day basis, let's face it. Rejection is definitely painful. It hurts our soul, it hurts our mind, and it questions our manhood every single time it hits to us. Sometimes rejection happens in, in love. Let's just face it. Some of you guys are not getting the number, are not getting the dates, or not meeting women's expectation. As far as the job environment is concerned, some of us are getting rejected from job interviews. We go to the first one, second one, third one, and bam, we still don't get the job interview. We, we question our mind, our ability, and just find it really frustrating. And third rejection is sometimes people don't accept our proposals, our ideas, our mindset, whether it's on a meeting, whether it's trying to convey the other person how we think. We're just getting rejected left to right. And sometimes it just frustrates us and we question the man above and the Lord above and say, God, Lord, why is this happening to me? Why am I getting rejected left and right? But you got to think of it in a different perspective. Maybe you are getting rejected for a good reason. Maybe the best is yet to come. Maybe there's something better for you. And maybe there's a lesson to be learned in this journey you're facing with the rejection. Maybe you need to polish your skills or improve yourself in such a way that you will better yourself as a human being. So what I say to you guys is rejection can be just not a bad thing. It, it could actually be a, way, a pathway for your success. It, it just takes a little time and consistent. So I want you guys to think a little bit bold and how you can actually perfect this rejection. Let me just give you a story real quick. Not, not too long ago in my life, met a beautiful girl and we're looking to get married and we're on the right path but you know what happened we have to do something called horoscope matching in our culture and unfortunately our horoscopes did not match and i felt rejected i felt it was the end of the world for me i felt like i I've abandoned and why things happened to me and this situation has happened to me not once not twice but a couple of times with this horoscope matching when it comes to marriages. You find the right mate, you feel you're gonna be connected, you have the right chemistry, and then you get the bad news from the priest and the horoscope that things are not gonna be in your favor if you do proceed to get married. And it leaves a darkness in your soul and it pretty much eats up your whole heart and your mindset and you question everybody else is happy, everybody else is living this nice dream, but this rejection, this objection is coming in my place. But I gotta think of it in a positive way. I gotta think the best is yet to come and things are gonna be better for the normal. And this is just a lesson to be learned from whatever I'm going through. The other situation I, I could tell you guys is the job experience I was dealing with a couple months back. Um, I was working for a Fortune 500 company. The company actually moved to a different state and I was left behind looking for work. And I'm thinking in my mindset, I'm coming from Fortune 500 company. This is not, it's going to be easy, breezy getting a job anywhere. But boy, was it definitely not easy. I felt like the guy from the, uh, Chris from Will Smith, the movie Pursuit of Happiness. He was this young, eager guy, carrying a briefcase, going to job to job. You know, from LA, downtown LA, to North Hollywood, to Burbank, you name it. And it was it was basically on a day-to-day -day path. Every day studying, every day interviewing, every day practicing, reading the books, how to actually better yourself for interview. And bam, this hits you when you get that email that you're not accepted or you get that you don't get a uh, email or call from that person that you did the interview you're questioning yourself you question why you're getting rejected from this job i mean you got the skills you got the right experience but still you lack something in your in your bio yourself and i felt rejected in many ways i'm going to these fortune 500 companies and uh, interviewing with sony and getting the first interview getting the second interview and third interview and things just didn't work out but you just don't hold it against you you just gotta look at the brighter better places basically what's happening is that i'm gonna get a better job which i did and it's gonna fit my skills and it's gonna give me more experience in this field for, to help me grow 
to the next level. And that's how you should take it in, in the world as well. To just think of it, think of it as a lesson from God and think of it as there's an experience that you lack, which you need, and something better is gonna up upon and arise from that situation. So before I leave, I want you to do three things to actually help you with your rejection. Number one, when you're at a party or event and you see a group of people you don't really associate with, Fortune 500 or elite people, I want you to approach them and see if you can actually be a part of their group. Now, what's going to happen is that, one, you might get rejected. Two, you might be part of the group. But for the most part, you might get rejected. And don't take it personally, but this is a way to actually polish your skills and go out there and be a little bit bold. Do something out of the ordinary. Number two, I want you to join a group, something that you feel passionate about. There's so many in Meetup. Now, when you join this group, whether it's a mentor group, a public speaking group, whether it's a dance group, a poetry group, whatever, you're not you're gonna feel rejected because you're not part of them. You might feel you are part of them, but things are not clashing such a way. So the more rejection you get from this group that your success rate is going to go higher and higher. And number three, what I want you guys to do is that whatever you're trying to pursue in life, whether you're an up-and-coming journalist, up-and-coming artist, and you'll see that you might get rejected or you might get people to accept you. And you want to surround yourself with well-minded people. And when you do this, this is going to basically increase your skills as far as the rejection rate. So try those three things and see how you feel and this is how your success is going to take you to the next level. And I want you guys to check out this book. It's definitely one of my favorites. It's going to help you get rid of rejection and make you more bold and more stronger as a person and also define your, your quality and your skills. It's called How to Hustle and Win. It's by the real Rick Ross. All right, and I want to thank you guys for being part of Inspire Your Minds and definitely subscribe to our channel and also check us out on the web at www.inspireyourmind.org and also leave a comment below.